This morning, you ate a healthy breakfast, sent a bunch of productive emails, paid some bills. You're killing it. You can keep this up, slugger. You tell yourself, once you finish this big work project, then tonight, you're gonna go to the gym and make yourself a gourmet dinner and finish the novel you've been. Next thing you know, you're lying on the couch next to fast food wrappers with your gym shorts half on and the title page of your novel open on your laptop. It's just titled Greatest Tittle. You couldn't finish typing the E. But you do suddenly think it's a good idea to text your ex and have just two or three more beers even though you know you shouldn't. What the hell happened? You are doing so great. Why are you making all the bad decisions and unable to do the good ones? It's okay. You just sprained your brain. Well, no, that's, that's an exaggeration. But you did push the decision-making portion of your brain to the limit, causing decision fatigue. It's like if you are working out. You've done a bunch of bicep curls, really got those biceps all curly, and then two minutes after, you go and help your friend move a bunch of boxes. You're not gonna carry those boxes as carefully as you would have had you not just worked your arms to the point of exhaustion two minutes prior. Same with your brain. You can make decisions, but they're not gonna be as good and as careful as they would have been if you hadn't made a ton of decisions right before. Now, according to research by Roy F. Baumeister, making decisions uses the very same willpower that you used to say no to donuts, drugs, or illicit sex. So the more decisions you've made previously, the harder it will be to make good decisions. And that's why it's more likely you'll pull a cookie monster at night than during the middle of the day. In research by the National Academy of Sciences, psychologists studied how decision fatigue affects whether or not a judge approves a criminal for parole. And guess what? It really does. No matter what the crime was, judges were 65% more likely to rule favorably early in the morning. And then as the day went on and the judge made more decisions, the favorable rulings dropped down to 0% until the judge had lunch. And then it jumped back up to 65% and steadily dropped back down to zero until the end of the day when the judges went home and binge watched Netflix, I'm guessing. But there is a way to fight decision fatigue. I am not just delivering bad news here. Not today anyways. Get the most important decision making done in the morning. If you're gonna try and work out every day, get it done in the morning or you'll be less likely to have the strong decision making muscles to do it later. Don't overwhelm yourself with multiple choices if you don't have to. If you are looking on Amazon for a new pair of earbuds because you keep losing yours, am I the only one who always loses them? Anyways, don't look at all the different brands and read all the reviews for hours, okay? Give yourself a limit. And by the end of those five minutes, pick something. Pick your outfit the day before instead of stressing about it in the morning. This is a technique used by some pretty successful people. These folks wear, slash wore, pretty much the same outfit all the time, saving them brain space to just make more decisions throughout the day. I'm not saying you have to have the same clothes all the time, fashionista. But you can at least pick out the outfit the night before or something. If you have to make an important decision later in the day, eat a healthy snack. Your brain has used up a bunch of fuel, so some avocado or egg or nuts, whatever, will help you be able to at least make that late day decision when your brain is pooping out on you, which is when you are most likely to make a regrettable decision. And you won't be hangry and nobody ever makes a good choice hangry. Don't obsess over one thing. Do it right so you can move on to the next and then come back to this not perfect thing later. This also means don't second guess the decision you made. Commit to that decision. Make a life with that decision. Buy a house with that decision and get a dog with that decision unless, you know, the decision really sucks. But you won't know unless you work on moving forward with whatever choice you made instead of being like, I'm eating a salad for lunch. No soup, no wait, salad, no wait, no wait, sandwich. Just do it. If, if, even if it's not a perfect lunch, does it really matter? Pack your lunch the night before. Pick out your outfit. Write up your to-do list. Send dumb, unimportant emails. Get the easy crap out of the way. And then the next day, you will be thanking your past self and ready to make the important decisions in the morning. At some point, let your brain rest. When working out, you stretch, and if you're fancy, you get a massage. So give your brain a massage. Take a walk, meditate, pet a dog, watch a dumb video online. But just like any other muscle, don't overwork your brain because that's when you get decision fatigue. Do it early in the morning, or right after lunch, or you are fucked. Oh shit. I'm late for my court date. Hey, can. Can you grab some food from craft services or something? I just want to bring it to the judge because I am not going to jail again, you guys. I'm not going to jail again. Not again. I'm not going to jail. Um, okay, like or subscribe and subscribe or watch 
more videos or comment below. You could see something nice or just mean. I don't, I'm tired. I, you, you will just watch the video. If you didn't, then you didn't. I don't know. Can I get a snack?